Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here and excuse the insane mess going on right now. For anyone that's been following my channel for any period of time, you know that I am an extremely messy worker and when I'm starting on a project or working on a project, I can't really clean it up. I leave it out until I'm completely done with it. And so most of you guys know that we've been building the Annette A8. Um, I'm sure you can see there's a lot of upgrades and things like that I've already done to it. Um, all that's left in our build series is to basically do the wiring and I had planned on having that up for you guys by now um, but I ran into an issue with my Monoprice Mini which is completely open right here um, basically the other morning when I went to print the hotbed wasn't heating up and I flicked it on and off a few times and um, <laughs> couldn't get anything at all working and so when I went to uh, open it up to basically diagnose it the filament that was hooked up to it pulled downward kind of off to the side. The machine tipped over and literally fell on the floor. Um, so that basically screwed it up pretty bad. The main board ended up having to be replaced. Um, both the temperatures were showing zero and zero on the thermistors and it was just kind of going haywire. So uh, over the last 24 to 48 hours I've basically rewired the whole thing completely to the Rams Arduino setup. Um, it is working beautifully now. I just ran a couple test prints, so basically what's left is um, quite obviously some cable management, and then I've got to figure out, I'd like to have this inside the bottom of the printer, just like the original board, so i got to figure out um, whether I'm going to 3D print some kind of a mounting bracket or just kind of, I don't know, rig something. Uh, so I can get this put back together and then get back to the Init A8. Um, I'm not going to show you guys a guide on this. It was really, really simple. There was a guy that posted on Thingiverse um, just in the last week or so here um, this. And I will say that if you follow his guide, it's it's definitely useful. But if you've never used the ramps and Arduino combo before, it's not really that beginner friendly. Um, at least I don't feel it is. So luckily I've done quite a few... Um, Rams Arduino kit builds as well as conversion so it was super simple the only thing I really used of his was his uh, configuration H uh, settings I just downloaded the latest version of Marlin and I used the perimeters that he had shown which basically were for this 3d printer which definitely was nice um, that was very very nice so but yeah for the wiring I pretty much got to reuse some of the stuff like the plugs for the stepper motors, I didn't have to re-solder those or anything like that, I just plugged them into place. Um, the things I had to re-basically hook up was the end stops as well as the thermistors. I had to put like little breadboard uh, connections on them or whatever. But um, yeah, it's working extremely well. I've got it hooked up right here to um, repair to your host. And so what I'm either going to do with this is I'm either going to have it just as a Raspberry Pi Octo print machine, or I might hook up um, one of my extra LCD screens to it that I have from uh, my other rep wrap machines. Just since the LCD screen that it comes with now obviously isn't going to work since it's not meant to be compatible with this uh, main board. But yeah, I mean, if I go under my manual control right now, I can home everything. So, it is working really well. <laughs> Sadly, the bed issue didn't really get figured out. I don't know whether it's a power supply thing or whether the heating element on the um, aluminum bed is just going bad, which is really strange and it's only a couple months old, but basically it heats up sometimes and doesn't heat up sometimes, which makes me feel like it's, it's definitely a um, heating, uh, something wrong with the heating element on the aluminum bed. So I might just use it as a PLA machine, which is 90% of what I print with, but not even higher. And that's pretty much what I was using this for anyways. Um, but one thing that's cool now is that with the little extra fan that I have, um, since it's always, it was always on before, now I have it wired up to the, um, D9 pin on the RAM board, so I can turn it on with a click of a mouse and then turn it off. And I can choose how quickly I want it. I can slow it all the way down to barely even moving. Oh, it doesn't go below that. Yeah. Um, which is kind of nice, so that I can turn it off for like the first layer when I'm printing a PLA and then have it, you know, kick on in the G-code after that. But uh, anyways, I'll link you guys over to the Thingiverse, um, f not Thingiverse, the uh, Instructables, I'm sorry, uh, file 
or uh, build log. That way, if you want to do something like this, I'm sure I'm not the only one that's going to eventually have issues. I'm sure eventually other main boards might fail, or maybe there'll be another reason we'll need to do a conversion. So, yeah, on that note, don't forget to smack the like button, guys. Um, thanks for watching. As always, if you're interested in knowing a little bit more about this project, let me know, and maybe I can do a post over on my website for you guys uh, if you're curious to find a little bit more in details on this whole thing. And uh, again, we will turn our attention to the Net A8 very, very shortly here. And on that note, I'm out. I hope you guys all have a great night. This has been Daniel from ModBot, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.